Good afternoon to you. State leaders visited Lexington this afternoon to see the damage caused by Saturday's massive fire at the Bluegrass Stockyards. And that fire burned 10 acres and spread to nearby businesses. Today, Agriculture Commissioner Ryan Quarles joined the governor for a tour of the scene. And for Quarles, the stockyards played a big role in his life as he grew up. WKYT's Hillary Thornton begins our top story team coverage at 5 with more on their visit. The Bluegrass Stockyards are important to Commissioner Ryan Quarles, not just as the head of the state's agriculture department, but also because he has deep family roots here at the now destroyed facility. The place that has been reduced to piles of rubble holds a lot of memories for the commissioner. So my earliest childhood memories are sitting in the sail rink with my dad. My dad used to work here when he was a college student, UK College of Ag. So. Uh, this is personal for me. A personal loss for Commissioner Quarles, devastating the business. He says is like family to farmers like himself. One of the most prominent livestock facilities, not just in Kentucky, but in the eastern United States, with Kentucky being the number one cattle producing state uh, in the country, in the east of the Mississippi. Which is why Commissioner Quarles says it is important they do everything they can to help, noting the resilience of bluegrass stockyards as in the midst of all of this. They are still open for business at other locations. We deal with the emotion, but we also recognize that the work that we do is so important and so vital uh, to feeding our nation and feeding the world that, that we had to get up this morning, put our boots on, and go back to work, and that's exactly what we've done. Commissioner Quarles says it will take some time before they know what, if any, impact this does have on the economy. In Lexington, Hillary Thornton, WKYT. Governor Bevan and Commissioner Quarles both commended first responders and the Lexington Fire Department for their work battling the massive fire. Firefighters battled for hours on Saturday to try to keep that fire from spreading to nearby businesses. And while some had serious damage, others were able to reopen this morning with a few modifications. Our Sean Moody continues.